The Toronto Raptors have made the Pascal Siakam trade official, but in order to do so, they had to waive a player and they decided to waive, surprisingly, Christian Coloco. So what got the Raptors to make this decision and give up on the player they drafted 33rd overall just a year and a half ago? Let's get into it. Welcome back, everybody. This is Amateur Sports 2, the second channel in the Amateur Production Network, where we give you some additional Toronto Raptors content in videos just like this. So get subscribed to the channel, keep updated with all the content, and drop a like if you enjoy what you see from this one along the way. But yes, surprisingly, it was revealed by Blake Murphy last night that Christian Coloco was the player the Raptors decided to waive to make this Pascal Siakam trade official. So we knew the Raptors had a roster spot available. They only had one additional roster spot available, and they took back three players in this trade with the Indiana Pacers and kind of the New Orleans Pelicans as well. They got Kira Lewis from the Pelicans, and they got Jordan Nuara and Bruce Brown from the Pacers. We were seeing if maybe they would be able to flip Bruce Brown. Maybe they can still do that, but they pushed this trade true late last night. Maybe they extended their options throughout the day. I'm not so sure. And perhaps there was deliberation over which player to waive, but again, in the end, they decided to go with Christian Coloco. And I guess the problem is Coloco has been dealing with respiratory issues all throughout the season. We really don't have a lot of information, and I've been bombarded with questions all season. Why isn't Coloco playing? Where is Christian Coloco? Are there any updates on Christian Coloco? And from the start of preseason, uh, even the start of Summer League, until now, we have no update other than Christian Coloco is out with a respiratory issue. We don't know the extent of it, but obviously it's something that's quite serious if he's not even playing basketball in any capacity. The only basketball he was playing, he was doing individual work at practices, but obviously could not overexert himself with the rest of the team. But we like Colo. Coloco is a good player. He was drafted 33rd overall a year and a half ago. It was a player that the front office, Bobby Webster in particular, was excited about saying he expected to go, Coloco to go in the early 20s of the draft. They were happy to get him at 33rd in the draft. And even though last season, Coloco, like, let's be honest, he wasn't exactly lighting the world on fire in his first season in the NBA as a rookie, started a good amount of gains, but what we really liked was the upside. He moves very well for his size at seven foot one. He is a very good defender and was showing signs, maybe most importantly, of being a defender who, even though he's seven foot one, you can't really beat him by just taking him out to, per to the perimeter. He can still handle that. And it was kind of unfortunate that we haven't been able to see him this season and progress his development, especially with the Jakob Pertl injury ongoing. But it seems like with the lack of depth overall in this team, very much seems like this could have been a real development year for Coloco. But even despite the injury here, it's still rather confusing to see that he was the one who got waived. And I guess it's a further inquisition into the way the roster was handled in the offseason. Why is Thaddeus Young on this team? I get he's been playing lately and he's been doing all right, but why is Thaddeus Young here making $8 million? Could you trade that contract? Sure, but does that, like, did we really need to eat up a roster spot to keep him here? Big question. Why is Garrett Temple here? He only plays garbage time. Unless he's just some amazing vet presence. And, and granted, I see him on the sideline. I see him off the side. Whenever the Raptors make a big play, he's the guy standing up. He's the guy geeing up his team. He's the guy clapping. He's the guy getting hyped up for his teammates. And when timeouts are called, he's the first guy to greet the players coming off the floor, even though he basically never plays. So I see that sort of value there. But we're in the business of of winning and we're in the business especially right now of developing basketball players Christian Coloco is a player that we're very fond of I've been very fond of and would like to see his development keep keep on progressing here so unless this is a career-threatening injury for the Coloco this one just really doesn't make a whole bunch of sense and it's left Raptors fans confused and upset here I really wanted to see Coloco's development and progression. I thought that there was potential that he could be a regular rotation piece in the NBA and maintain that as the case as long as he can be healthy. So that's an upsetting feature of this trade for the Raptors. It's also a little bit upsetting that as of yet, they have not been able to move Bruce Brown. But perhaps there's a little bit of a silver lining with Coloco and his contract. Christian Coloco is on a guaranteed contract for the upcoming for, for this current season. So he's guaranteed his money for the rest of the season. So at least the silver lining is the Raptors can still sign him to the Raptors 9-5. If they still wish to progress his development, the Raptors 
can sign him to the Raptors 905, take up a roster spot over there instead, continue to work on his development, hopefully progress with the health factors associated with the player, and hopefully get him back into the NBA for next season. But what they've done in waiving the player, first of all, there's dead cap now for the rest of the season on Coloco's contract. That's not very fun. But second of all, they've waived their right as well to have restricted for agency rights. They've waived their right to, well, they've given now Coloco the opportunity to choose. Hopefully, relationships are good. Hopefully, you know, it's been communicated towards Coloco here that, like, what are we supposed to do? Like, like we need, like, especially right now, given the lack of depth overall with this team, we need players. We need guys who are actually contributing at the NBA level. And just unfortunately, as a result of this injury, he's not been doing that this season. He hasn't been able to do that this season. So hopefully there's been communication in place. He can return to the Raptors 905 and the Raptors can work on his development. But if that's not the plan, if the plan was not just get him in the 905, bring him back to the NBA when he's ready. If that was not the plan, and this is not a career-threatening injury, then this makes no sense. And this is not board not doesn't make sense. This is a horrific piece of work by the front office. This is a guy who drafted 33rd overall last year. This is a guy who got drafted 33rd overall, got minutes in the 905, and played 58 NBA games last season. There was an investment in giving this guy playtime and working on his development. And that all goes to waste because you want to save room on the roster. For Thaddeus Young, for Garrett Temple, for at the start of the season, Malachi Flynn, who you just discarded in the OG and an OB trade, that would be a serious problem and a serious issue. I would take serious issue against the front office if that is ultimately what comes up with a player who they drafted 33rd overall, who they were super excited about, who looked good in his rookie season, and they invested all these resources into to develop him and to give him playtime. So, We'll see. Time will tell. Maybe he does come back with the Raptors and everything's fine. Maybe he doesn't come back with the Raptors and we have all these issues. But I, I, it, it's, it's extremely fair to say that when I saw that Blake Murphy tweet suggesting that, yes, indeed, the Raptors have confirmed the trade by waving Christian Coloco, I was surprised and I was upset. And I wish nothing but the best for Coloco in this recovery process, whatever it may be. Don't think it's really fair to him to speculate. There's been no real concrete answers as to what the situation is. All we know is it's a respiratory issue. We don't know how long it'll be. We don't know any of the extra details about it with any confirmation. So I don't think it's really fair to speculate exactly what it is. But he's out. We don't know. And now he is no longer with the Raptors. All the best in the future. I hope that future is in Toronto in some capacity, one shape or another. So what do you make of the Raptors? Waving Christian Coloco. Are you as surprised as I am? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video and other stuff to check out. Make sure you're subscribed to my main channel for more Raptors content right here. My reaction channel for the best stream clips from the streams from this channel. Subscribe to the channel you're currently watching on Amateur Sports 2, and here's another video you might enjoy of me reacting to that Pascal Siakam trade on that main channel. I'll see you again next time for another video here on Amateur Sports number 2.